Hey, welcome back, guys. This is episode 8 of our adventure through Sinnoh region uh, in Pokemon Shining Pearl. Last episode, we got Dawn's Pokédex back from uh, Team Galactic, and we took on the gym leader, who decided to spam Drain Punch. We also changed our outfit. I think it looks way cool. Uh, I, I, lo I love this outfit. It looks really freaking awesome. I, it just... It matches me. I spent forty-five thousand dollars on it. So yeah, went and used the versus uh, the versus seeker again a couple times on a couple of different trainers to get some of the money back that I spent. But right now, we need to go to Pastoria City. The way we go through there is we're gonna go down and to the left, all the way down to the left. So we should go ahead and do some of that. Talk to this man right here. It's too badly chewed up. And there's nothing to see there. Well, I guess there is that ruined maniac guy. You should check out. That guy's been digging his way through bedrock all by himself. That's weird. Now, I do know their unknown is in here. So you can get him through. Pretty sure the ruins. Route 214. Oh. Another battle. Psychic type. Oh no, ghost type. Huh. Hmm. I think Zen had but will do anything to it. Also, the egg that we got from the breeder, or that random egg that we got from the stranger, ended up being a half penny. It ended up hatching off screen, so it is in the it is in the team where the egg was. So we have half penny in here. Um, and I leveled it off screen a little bit underground because I was picking up some uh, Pokemon underground. So let's see, mystery. That's another ghost type. There we go. Good job. Good job. I'm I'm appraising you from the real life version. Again, guys, I am still battling a sore throat. I feel like I've said that in like literally almost every single one of these videos except for the first two. Uh, but I just want you guys to know, be aware that if I sound a little weird, um, it's because of my sore throat. I don't know why I kept with this Pokemon. This was not going to be, it wasn't a smart decision. Um, but if I do sound a little bit hoarse or anything, I'm taking cough drops, uh, have a drink on the side, just to kind of help my throat. So I am doing my best to kind of heal this up. Um, so if I do sound a little weird, I, I, I do apologize. If there's just a little less talking in this video, I do apologize. Again, it is because of my throat. Uh, I pretty much mass record these videos so I can uh, get them ready to uh, be edited and upload as soon as possible. Um, I do one video a day, but I do try to put out each video consistently. So, um, and I'm trying to get this adventure, I'm trying to get the story done. Um, as fast as possible um because i can go through off camera and pick up the pokemon i don't have that i need to complete the pokedex and get all of the uh and get the the pokey radar and everything so and i may shiny hunt uh palkia a little bit off camera and everything and if I can get it to pop up shiny, uh, then I'll try to do my best to like screen capture it using the Nintendo idea or Nintendo DS using the Nintendo Switch setting. Um, 
or like their like five minute record thing. So that way I can get it to pop up for you guys and edit it and put a video out for this. Planting some of these berries back. Gonna water them just a little bit. Right, there you go. <coughs> <coughs> So, <clears throat> I'm not quite sure. Am I supposed to go through this? Am I supposed to go through here? There's a weird guy in here. I dig. Everyone calls me a ruined maniac. I don't care what they call me. I'll just keep on chipping away at the rock wall little by little. You know why? I'm a ruined maniac who is fascinated by the unknown. I know it's a little sudden. <clears throat> I didn't get to catch that. You go and catch the unknown, and I'll keep digging away. We'll have a race to see who can get done faster. Okay. Come through over here. And yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I could call mind it, but I think Zen Headbutt will take it out one head. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Sorry, my throat is really messed up today. Like it has been for the past couple of days. I should have called mind it before. That's fine. Mm. Got that done. Bronzer, let's actually change out. Let's go back to Monferno. I forget. I keep forgetting what level does Monferno level up to Infernape? I think it's right around 36? 37? Hey, Mew grew to level 32. Nice. Anything over here, like an item that I can grab? And there is some over there. Again, I'll come back and challenge these trainers off camera. I'm doing my best to get through the story. That way I can do shiny hunting for you guys, because I know a lot of people uh, are used to me coming on here and shiny hunting. In this one, you don't get the Pokey Radar to shiny hunt with until you finish the main game. That's not going to work. What's up with Lamanfia? I haven't done him for a little bit. 
Um, but yes, I am gonna level these up, like off camera and everything. I'll bite some of the um, trainers and everything that I skipped through or and all that. I'll go back and you know fight some of them. I'll use the versus seeker to kind of get some more money and everything by just fighting the same trainer over and over. Uh, using the amulet coin, which I do have attached to my Monferno. So I can kind of get a little bit more money out of battles. If I need to make up that $45,000 that I spent for that outfit in the last episode. But I mean, come on, $45,000. I mean, hey, that, that, that looks nice for forty-five dollars Uh, 214. It's an item right there. Yeah, I figured that's gonna get into a wild battle. Giraffe rig. I don't think I caught one yet. We'll catch this one. I'll also go off camera. I'll try to do everything I can to catch all the Pokemon that I can catch and trade. I know this isn't gonna be very effective, but I don't want to kill it. I just want to lower the health of it. Um. I will do everything I can to trade with Alvin, uh, my boyfriend who has Pokemon Diamond. He has the other exclusive version, exclusive Pokemon, and we can trade for them and um, be able to fill, fill out the Pokedexes in here. Again, I do want to try to finish out the story before Christmas, if possible, because when the when January twenty second comes around. 22nd? I think it's January 22nd Legend Arceus releases. When January 22nd comes out, I'm going to pre-order Legends Arceus. And I'm going to do it through um, the Pokemon Center. Which is linked in one of my descriptions of my videos. I'll probably link it in the description of this video if I can remember. But, ah, I didn't want it to kill itself. But, um, you pre-order through there, and you can get a cute little sitting plushie of Arceus, which I collect stuff like that. If you guys don't see the Funko Pops behind me, I am a bit of a collector of cute little things like that. Funko Pops. Uh... You know, between Funko Pops, plushies, Pokemon cards... Stuff like that. Me and my boyfriend collect stuff like that. I'm going the right way. So this is going to be a double battle. No, it's not. To protect the lake, it's nice to know there are still people worth admiring. Uh, worth admiring like that. I believe his name was Cyrus. We've been asked to keep everyone out of the lake area. The reason I'm not too sure, but apparently to protect the lake. Are they trying to get uh, the red arse, uh, the red shiny, uh, shiny Gyarados? God, I can't talk. Who are you? What am I to do? I've gone and dropped my sweet key somewhere again. I'll tell people won't be happy with me. I'm sure I had it when I left the reception counter earlier. What is this? Seven stars restaurant, more flavor than you can wish for. What is your name? What are you doing? Uh, excuse you? Stop, stop. Yes, you. Sunny, so Sunny Shore City, which is down this road, had a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring power, but the road's closed now. Aren't you just a dick? I'm not wrong. He, he, he. That, that was a bit of a dick. Valor Lakefront. Okay, right. let's see if there's a way I can help this lady with her key. I'd rather be in a pool than the sea. The salty thing of the tea sea tastes like my tears after a hard day's work. That sounds depressing. Go home from work and cry. That's sad. Game director. Hey, this is where you go and get your Pokédex uh, evaluated to get the shiny charm. I'm pretty sure this is where you do it. Uh, it's me, the Gengar loving director. I think we all know who that is. Battling other trainers sure is exciting, isn't it? Keep building up those bonds of your Pokemon so you can take on tougher trainers. I was not. 
Chow. I'm a game director. You're working on filling a Pokedex, aren't you? It's awesome that you're going to meet lots of Pokemon. Come show you me your Pokedex when you filled it with Sons of Entries. It'll give you a certificate and uh, all that other stuff. So, more likely the shiny charm too. I found a pee, -pee up. Yay! Okay, move on for now, please. There's got to be a way to help this girl over here. She left her key at the receptionist. I'm just a simple soul. Let my guitar do all the talking. I can shine whenever I go if I have those feelings in my life. I will read your future. Destiny shall shift. Whether that bodes well or ill is beyond the scope of my sight. Well, that's sad. Your <laughs> traveling troupe of street performers. Oh, TM's 92. That's cool. Shrek Room is a doozy of a weird move. Use it for in for a while afterwards. Slowest Pokemon get to use their attack first. Yeah, I never really got the the premise behind that move. It always confused me. I never got what it does. I know, I know. What is your name? Trash can is empty, I bet. You're a traveler. Yes, it's good to see other places. Have you heard the Tin Tower in the Jota region? Yes, I have. A rainbow colored Pokemon. Oh, oh. I must see that in my lifetime. Well, you can get. In my version, I get Lugia. However, in Alvin's version, which is Brilliant Diamond, you can get Ho oh. So I would have to have Alvin trade me Ho oh in order for me to show it to him. Or I'd have to wait for uh, Home to pick up. Or I'd have to wait for Pokemon Home to be accepted, so that way I can, um, uh, that way I can show, uh, move my holo over. Oh, hello! You wish to stay the night? I'm afraid you were totally booked. You may rest a, you may rest a while if you wish. Oh, well, thank you. Hey, cool. We have to see you again. Cool. This hotel is so romantic. I hope a night on a hope a night on a Pokemon will sweep me away from for a honeymoon here. Good luck with that. This is the reception area, but I don't know where the key is. Hotel Grand Lake. Another world on Lake Valor. Red Shard. Got many of those from underground digging. You have a blue cellos. I stand stoically and I can't say that. In front of the blue deep deep blue sea. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. Ain't that nice to have money on your hand. Oh, uh, the seaside suits me better than the sea. Okay. Cute little blue cellos. I don't have the moves to go down the other way, or to serve. So, coming down here was literally not worth my time because I can't go anywhere else. You have to literally hit it right there. It's an invisible item that you have to use the Pokey Finder or, or the treasure item for. Uh, excuse me, where's my reward? I didn't have to give you your key. Okay, thank you. I love a cookie. No kidding. Wow, all of that just for a lava cookie. I'm shocked. Okay, guys. 
Well, we found her key. I feel like I wasted so much time over there. At the fancy hotel and fancy place with a fancy restaurant. Okay. Alright, let's see. What do you have? Dr. Footsteps House. Footprints reveal all. What do you have to tell me? Mr. Footstep. Pokemon are quite easy for me to read. I need only to see their footprints and their inner thoughts are revealed to me. That sounds very weird. You have a very weird fetish, dude. Let your Jirachi walk in front of me right here. No, don't, don't handle my Jirachi like that, dude. That's weird. No. I, how it feels about me. I've seen all sorts of people so far, but he understands my feelings enough. I'm a little hungry, you can tell, right? And that is what your Jirachi thinks of you. You're fucking weird. That dude is weird. Alright, am I supposed to go this way? Hang on. It says I'm supposed to go this way. I don't know if there's anything over here. Like, there's some berries right over there. There's a move right here. Or some kind of item. Aerial Ace, uh, yeah, that's a move. Okay. Two thirteen. Ooh, berries. Rost berries. That's nice. All right. Plant some more berries, like the good little guy we are. Mm, let's get some citrus on right there. Let's do a rost. And let's do one of nice. And let's water them real quick. There we go. All right. Let's go through here. Oh, what do you have to say? It's a long way from Bilestone City. I'm exhausted. Footprints are left in the sand when you walk on a beach. Pokemon seem to enjoy leaving footprints as much as people. You and people? What is up with people studying Pokemon's feet? That is weird. Monferno is holding something. An Oka Berry. Thank you. Trying to talk to this girl, but hey, thank you. I'm visiting the area because I wanted to see the Great Mars. I'm staying at Lakeside Hotel. Oh, great. More of these grunts. Uh, the story at Great Mars Observatory Gate. If you have to say. You're just like a totally impatient boy I met earlier. Just like you, he was very close with this Pokemon. Hey, thanks for making me smile. These might put a smile on your face. Bubble stickers, see. That's cool. Okay, yes, you can cook berries into poffins. We know this. Some, trainer, bleh, some trainers deliberately prevent their Pokemon from evolving. They wait until the Pokemon levels up and learn certain moves. Ah. They can get better moves. A great marsh is vast. How vast is it, you ask? Take a look from the observatory and you can see for yourself. Cool. That story of the Great Marsh was once a part of the sea. The seawater drained away over time, leaving the huge marshland. That's why they say there are rare Pokemon that you can only see here. That's cool. 
Go ahead and heal up my Pokemon for a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Let's go over here. There's the gym. Let's go and see what's in this house real quick. In the Great Marsh, they use quick trams on rails for transportation. They prevent damage to the Great Marsh's ecosystem. Ah? What do you have to say? The story of the gym leader is like breathtaking in a weird way. Sorry to explain. You'll know what I mean, though. Okay. Weirdo. And I want to go up to this... Hang on. What is this grunt doing staring at this tree? This is so annoying. What is it? Oh, some kid with only three gym badges. It looks like you should know how to stay out of Team Black this way. Now, this package from Valsgon City. Where should I set it off? Yep, this is going to be a smashing job for Team Black here. You know, for bad guys, you seem to... A lot of this and revealing a lot of what you're trying to do. On top of that, saying I only have three gym badges and I still defeat some of your leaders is not something that's good. Is this your first uh is this your first safari game? Well no, I played it in the last one. This is where the safari zone is? Oh cool! All you can catch for five hundred dollars. Would you like to play this horror game? No, but I may come back and do this off camera because, again, just like the underground, I can literally spend hours in the safari zone trying to catch Pokemon. So I'm probably going to do the safari zone off camera. I know Carnivine is one you can catch, but it's you got to be the champion i think is what they were saying um also i think this is the water type gym later pressure wake is a master of water type pokemon yeah i say you've got gus if you try to face down water types with fire or ground type pokemon yeah. uh i don't think i have any Pokemon that are equipped for this job. Um, have some electric. Pachirisu, where you at? I'm sorry, man. Uh, Penny's gonna have to go. Hang on. Let, let's go in here. Hang on. I can't. I can't enter my full Pokemon inside the gym. That's funny. It wasn't allowing me to my boxes. Ah. Uh, I, I need to level some guys up. Cherubi is going to be on my team for right now. Good man, be. Um, Another one is going to be Pachirisu. And I am sorry, Mew, but... Yeah. But do you need to get leveled up, too? All right, I'm gonna go off camera and level these guys up and I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I'm back guys. So I just leveled up my guys for a couple a little bit. I taught them a couple of different new moves, um, some TMs and everything. So let's see if that's gonna get me through the water zone. Get through here, of course we have a little puzzle we gotta solve. Uh, look over here. Hmm. No. Not that way. Oh, huh. and I can't really go that way. I can't even go that way. Okay, so we have one of the kid trainers over here. But if you guys heard that, my my neighbor's dog is barking right now. 
What the heck? Okay. All right. Thank you, Trudy. Really? Really? Okay. I'm gonna just take that down. All the way down over here. Up over here. Back up over here. Back up this way. And... That does nothing. Okay. That button. Up over here, fight this trainer, hit the blue button. Hmm, go ahead and do magical speed or magical. Heat. Great, my guy's confused. That's not good. Okay. Alright, waterfalls. Come on, come on. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Snapped out of this confusion. That's awesome. There we go. I'm gonna keep going with him. I don't think I need to send out the dude just yet. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay. His his wingles fainted. Hopefully that's it. That's that's all of it, right? Awesome. Now I'm gonna heal up to Ruby right now because. I don't want him dying. There we go. Hit the blue button. Now we have all of these. And we can come out like this trainer. Can't crash your weight. Tuber Caitlyn. Alright, well, one Pokemon, so that's gonna be fine. Sap Sipper. That is not good. Is all my grass types gonna be worthless? It's when I'm sending out Luxray for the beating for him. Come on. Yeah, go ahead, do your bubble beam. Ain't gonna do much. Thundershock it. Hey, good job, Luxray. Another morale. No, nope. just keep just keep going with the ones I got out right now. He's doing pretty good. Let Thunder shock it again. Down, down you go. All right, there we go. Yep, give me the money. Give me the money, kid.
I can click on this. Oh, I can't really go anywhere. Click on the yellow. That's weird. Oh. That confused me. <laughs> Come down this way. Come down this way. Up here. Let's fight this trainer. <coughs> I'm pretty sure the next one's going to be the gym leader. He's got three Pokemon with him. Pink Shellos. Mm. That's not good. I'll go ahead and end this one. I'll end this battle. In the next turn, I'm going to use Grassy Terrain. Take down... Uh, let's see what it does. Reckless full body charge attack for slamming into the target. The target also... It's also damages the user a little... Ugh, no. I'm good. We're gonna keep going with uh, the Cherubi. We're gonna do grassy terrain. Hmm. Well, you turn throws him back into his ball. All right. There we go. Let's do Magical Leaf. Take out that Shellos. I'll also continuously get health from Grassy Terrain. We'll keep going for it. You got this, Cherubi. You've got this. Okay, you can keep using U-turn, but you have no other Pokemon to switch out. And you're dead. There we go. Get my tuck in my hair. I keep looking at the viewfinder to see my hair is all messed up. Alright, let's click on the blue button. Oh, Cherubi is evolving. Considering it's nighttime, we're going to get the gloom one. I guarantee you, yep, we're going to get the gloom one. It's gloom form. Alright, we got the gloom serum, which is fine. Overcast form, I should say. I, I call it the gloom form because he looks gloomy. But let's see what sunny day do. What a sunny day. Ether intensifies the sun for five turns, powering up fire type moves. It lowers the power of water type moves. Ugh, that's like a double edged sword because if I'm fighting a fire type. That's going to boost up my enemy's moves and none of mine. But if I'm fighting water type, I'll use it for right now because I'm fighting a water type gym and it'll lower his water type moves. But I'm getting rid of it after this gym. We're going to head this way and. Do a quick heal up session. Make sure everyone is fully healed for this battle. 
All right. Fresh your wake. Welcome, I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader. I'm Crasher Wake. My Pokemon are toughened up by the stormy white waters. They take everything you can throw at them. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get this done. Well, aren't you just rude? And you look weird. You look like a wrestler that got rejected from WWE. And AEW was not going to take your ass. If WWE rejects you, AEW ain't going to take you either. <laughs> you look like a Luchador re reject. Oh! That ice type was not what I wanted. That is a dick move. Alright. Tell me I got something. Ice heal. Alright. Quit using Ice Fang! Oh my god. This is gonna screw me. <laughs> That's not cool. I'm immediately going into Luxray. How are you faster than me? Oh. Good job, Luxury. Take that out. Bad Gyarados. Flagsire. That's a water ground type, so it's not going to be super effective. But it may be just effective enough. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm stuck with using the dark, uh, dark type move. Flagstar flinched, couldn't move. Come on, let's ray. Come on, let's try. I know you can do this, bud. Yes, there you go. Oh, I just kicked everything. Ouch. Am I serious listening to me and every every time I talk? I'm literally gonna take my watch off when I record now. It's like every time I talk, my watch wants to listen to everything I have to say. Yeah, this dude was rejected from every wrestling organization. WWE, AEW, TNA. I haven't heard TNA in a long time, though. Done. Luxury for the win for this entire gym. <laughs> Oh, man. How will I say this? I want more. I wanted to battle a lot more. But that sounded really weird, dude. <laughs> really weird. And it seems the Undertale pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. You're going to give me the gym badge. Nice. Yes, come on. Do you need the fin badge to hit and move defog from your Poke Watch? There are special these are a special reward for me in recognition of your team's power. Stickers. Cool. PM fifty fives. Alright. Each of them contain the move grind. It inflicts double the damage on targets with less than half their HP left. Use it to end battles decisively. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's fourth gen badge down. Yeah, fourth gen badge down. Nice. I'm gonna go heal up. 
because my Pokemon took a beating. My poor Truby actually took a beating. After I leveled it up for that battle. Alright. Let's go ahead and change back to our old team real quick. I really don't want the Apenny in there, so I'm just going to leave that one out and put Storabia in and start leveling that one back up. But, yeah. I think that's... Yep. Oh, no, no, no. Mm. Sorry, Patricia. Alright. Actually, let's put the one I want in front. Which one do I want in front? Eh, Manaphy should be good. Manaphy's good enough. Alright, all of them are healed up correctly. Oops. If you guys hear anything in the background, that's my boyfriend right now. Um, He's got allergies just like me right now. So, I will say that if y'all just heard that, he's in the background playing his game. <laughs> Uh, both of our allergies have actually been kicking our rear ends pretty bad. And I've got the sore throat of it. He's got the sneezing th uh, side of it. So, but yeah, we're already seeing about like an hour and two minutes. We just got the fourth gym badge. Uh, so let's go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and look at the badges. We have four more left, as you guys can see. So we are going to continue exploring Pastoria City in the next episode. Uh, I'll probably do some tra uh, training off uh, camera and everything, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe, stay healthy. Peace.